Hello YouTube, Hobby Farm Guy Steve here to introduce today's spotlight video. For those of you looking to add some broiler chickens to your setup, today we review the Red Ranger Chicken. And if you're interested in this type of content, consider subscribing to see all our videos as they're posted. Chicken meat is extremely popular. Statistics show that when it comes to animal protein, or meat as we call it, humans ate more chicken than anything else last year. And just as chicken meat consumption is on the rise, so too is the practice of producing it for oneself. While most of the chicken comes from Cornish crossbreeds, a small but growing segment comes from other broiler breeds. While none of these other breeds can compete with the Cornish cross broilers when it comes to producing a meaty chicken carcass in a short amount of time, many people, well, they're turned out by the rapid growth rate, high maintenance, and health issues that come along with the Cornish crossbreed. But they still want a better alternative than waiting several months for a dual purpose breed to mature. Enter the Red Ranger. Red Ranger chickens are becoming an increasingly popular alternative for people that want a more natural looking and natural behaving meat chicken while maintaining that moderate growth rate. Red Rangers are a hybrid well suited for small flocks. They grow slower than the Cornish Cross but faster than dual purpose breeds and they don't suffer from the health problems of faster growing broilers. Rangers enjoy and excel at foraging outdoors, and they can be raised together with standard breeds. They produce a meaty carcass and are ready for slaughter by 12 weeks. If you don't get around to slaughtering them, the hens will start laying at around 16 weeks and lay about 175 medium to large light brown eggs a year. Since the Red Ranger is not an officially recognized breed, there's not a lot of information available about the bloodlines and lineage that went into the development of these birds. However, it's widely believed that the good layers like Rhode Island Reds, New Hampshire's, and others were crossed with high producing meat birds such as Cornish Rocks and Delaware's to develop the Red Ranger. Now there are several different names and slightly different strains for about the same bird, sometimes called Freedom Rangers, uh, Rainbow Rangers, Dixie Rangers, and even Ginger Nut Rangers. They're all basically red broiler birds with a similar origin. So different hatcheries, they've given them their own name and they're often trademarked, right? So hatcheries have figured out that people are more likely to buy a bird named Freedom Ranger than, you know, chicken strain T1457. So while each hatchery will tell you that theirs is the best in the end, they all look pretty much the same and you'd expect similar results from all these different strains. The Red Ranger is typically a mix of copper red and honey brown colored feathers. The body is solid, rectangular in shape, and the yellow legs are muscular and strong. Sturdy birds, they have black highlights on their wings and tails, and they have red combs and wattles. Unlike the Cornish Cross, Red Ranger chickens are fully feathered, which will make them a little more difficult to pluck, but also makes them more suited for outdoor living environments. A hardy breed, they can withstand extreme cold and heat, and they can live with your laying flock. They don't require separate housing. These birds are excellent foragers and are happiest when raised free range or allowed to roam pastures or large fields. Because they excel at foraging, raising red rangers can significantly lower your feed bill if you have enough pasture for them to wander. The flip side, however, is that they're going to take longer to mature because they're burning calories as out there searching for food. If that's a concern, you can either limit their foraging space or time or supplement with a high protein feed to allow them to grow quicker. The recommended earliest processing age for red rangers is about 11 weeks, which will yield a smaller dressed weight of four to five pounds on average. Like the Cornish Cross, that's going to vary greatly depending upon the protein content of their feed. And more importantly, how much of the birds are allowed to forage and exercise. However, because they aren't predisposed to health issues like other breeds, they can be kept well past that 11 week mark if you're looking for a larger roasting chicken. Unlike the Cornish Cross, the distribution of meat throughout the Red Ranger's body is proportional, meaning you won't get those huge breasts that the Cornish Crosses have, uh, but you'll have bigger, juicier legs. Also, the taste of the Red Ranger chicken is going to be a little different than that of the Cornish chicken. This is because there's a bit more fat on this chicken breed, and so it will taste closer to a heritage chicken than a Cornish cross. Red Rangers have a better survival rate than many broilers, as they're more able to fend for themselves, they retain some basic survival instincts, and are more physically capable than other fast-growing meat chickens tend to be, so you'll generally see a lower rate of mortality than you might experience with Cornish chickens. There is a potential downside to these hybrids, though. Since they're not a true breed, they can't breed true with each other. So if you were hoping to keep a rooster around and breed these chickens to sell or replenish your flock, it really isn't an option. So is the Red Ranger right for you? If you're looking for a broiler that can put on weight out on pasture instead of at the feed bin, this is the chicken you may want to take a look at. 
You'll wait longer to butcher, but you'll generally put in less effort than you would need to exert for other broiler breeds. And you'll get eggs to boot. So what do you think? Have you tried the Red Ranger? Would you do it again? Let us know your experiences in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If we've earned it, please click that like button if you haven't already. Until next time, happy every farming.